Hello basketball players, my name is basketball coach Allen and today I'm going to talk to you about some defensive footwork that you're going to want to understand and know how to do for your next basketball game. Now it's really windy outside today so I'm hoping that it does not affect my mic. So let's get down to it. Okay, so as a coach, I am a defensive minded coach. So that's what I always like to explain to my players is most of our drills are gonna be oriented towards defense. The reason for this is if you have the ball more than your opponent, then you're just generally going to win more games. If you have more chances to score, you're going to win more games. So try and play the best defense as possible. You're gonna to have to have the mindset of having the ball all the time in either your team's hands or your hands. You do not want the other team to have this ball. So first off, we're gonna get rid of the ball because we need to get that ball back. We don't have the ball right now, we are playing defense. And number one is footwork and that's what we're gonna be talking about today. So first off, when you're playing defense, you don't wanna be on your heels. Playing defense on your heels is not doing anything for you and it's gonna do everything for your opponent. And what I mean by that is if you're on your heels and you're playing defense on your heels, basically you're gonna to have to go up on your toes to turn to chase after your defender or your player, I mean, or if you're on your heels playing defense, you're gonna be naturally falling back as it is. So if he tries to cross you up, you're gonna be on your butt a lot easier. Now, what you want to be on your to be doing is on your toes. You want to be off your heels. So you want to be playing defense, leaning forward just a bit. You're going to be on your toes. Your knees are going to be slightly bent, no more than 90 degrees. And you want your shoulders to be lower than your opponent's, especially if he's about to drive towards the basket. Now, I've mentioned this in a few other videos. So make sure that's something that you're doing. However, footwork wise, you never want to cross your feet. As soon as you're, you're shuffling and you cross your feet, you're going to trip and fall or he's going to see that as an offensive player. That's what I used to look for as a player. If somebody crossed their feet, I'm going to be just basically crossing the ball back, taking a dribble, a dribble or two back and jacking up my shot because he's not going to be able to react as quickly. And if he tries to react quickly, he's going to fall on his butt. This is why you see a lot of players, they break their ankles because they are seeing that the, other, the defender is crossing his feet and they're going to take advantage of that. So if you never want to be having broken ankles, stop crossing your feet when you're playing defense because it's absolutely horrible. Okay, so let's say you're playing defense and your man starts to drive on you either right or left, it doesn't matter. What you wanna do, and I, what I see a lot of players do, is they'll take a step back with their left foot if they're driving this way, and then they'll finally step around. For one, that's essentially crossing your feet because if he's going this way, you're now crossing your feet. You, your feet should be going this way. So whichever way he drives, essentially that's the step that you want to lead with and then you want to catch up now if you're catching up unless you're a really slow player you shouldn't be turning around and sprinting after your player you should have already seen that happen you should have been fast enough now if you have if you're really far behind and you're turning that means that you're on your heels and you're not playing defense on your toes so first off on your toes bent shoulders back shoulders lower than theirs that way if they drive you can turn and then you can get quickly after them and cut off any lane towards the basket that they had next is closing out on a on a shooter so a lot of players they'll close out and they'll do some large jump and try to block a shot you don't really want to do that and there's reasons for that so the next piece of footwork I'm going to talk to you about is closing out and what you need to do instead of jumping for that blocked shot, which you're not going to block anyways, what you want to have done is stutter steps out with your hand up. By doing small stutter steps, it's allowing you to stop and change direction faster. So if that player was just doing a shot fake, that way you can take your small steps out, your stutter steps out, contest the shot with your hand up hand down man down and then if he does start to drive you can turn quickly and then follow cut off lanes of driving so for coaches or for players who just want to get better this is a drill that you can run so you can start 
by stutter stepping right at the free throw line. Then you can quickly shuffle down to the block, shuffle back up, stutter step, shuffle, shuffle back down to this block, and then back up, and then stutter step again. And you can do this drill for 30 seconds, 60 seconds, a minute 20, whatever it may be, but go until exhaustion, take a rest of 60 seconds, and do it again, and do it three times. Now, this is some of the footwork that I teach my players. If you want, go check out the, the players membership down below. You get custom workouts, and I'll see you guys again tomorrow for another twice a day basketball video.